Hello, and welcome to my show. I'll be your mirror. I'm your host, Blake Jefferson, and here we talk about the power of the human mind. But first, I want to thank all my listeners. This was such a great weekend. I was overjoyed to see such immense love and support you guys showed to my latest ebook. I read all your reviews. I felt so much love. Thank you. Thank you to all you lovely people. So someone pinged me why I titled my book this weird name that's actually weird. Crack the head. my fault huh no 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 this is also my fault that there is no cab available at this city area right you know what kunal i'm done with you and i'm seriously done with this marriage you just keep fighting with me all the time are ha sun liya your driver has just left but he hasn't reached yet pura din nahi hai mere paas i told you i have to go for college reunion tonight are you deaf i said college reunion college ke friends honge wahan samin nahi and how many times i have told you that there's nothing between me and samin we are just colleague and that's it that and i have already apologized to you i'm sick of giving you clarification that whatever happened will not happen in future tumhe manna hai to mano otherwise go and fuck yourself the complexities of a human mind differs who the fuck are you hi ma'am i'm nishan kunal sir asked me to drive you home तुम के फ्रेंड हाउस के नो मैम आई एम जस्ट अ ड्राइवर ऑफ योर कंपनी पहले तो तुम्हें कभी नहीं देखा या मैम आई जस्ट गॉट अपॉइंटेड येस्टरडे यू सीम वेल एजुकेटेड व्हाई यू आर ड्राइविंग इट्स अ लॉन्ग स्टोरी मैम यू नो व्हाट सम पीपल मेक देयर ओन आर्टिफिशियल फकिंग लॉन्ग स्टोरी जस्ट टू जस्टिफाई व्हाई दे फक्ड अप वाओ I fully agree to that, ma'am. But trust me, I'm not that type of a guy. Ma'am, I think you should sit at the back. वो कुनाल सर को अच्छा नहीं लगेगा, so you know, ma'am. Just call me Natasha, baby. Okay, uh, Natasha. Fifty shades of what? 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that movie. I would just play. <laughs> Oh my god, you know what, you have all the weirdest fantasies in your mind. I think you should go to Amsterdam. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Listen, uh, I'll call you later. Yeah, I'll reach there by eight. <laughs> no, not now. Fuck you. <laughs> You'll be a dead man. Sorry? If you ever try snitching on me to Kunal about you just heard or anything you heard. I didn't hear anything, ma'am. Hmm. Stop playing smart. Sorry, ma'am. I mean Natasha. Sorry, Natasha. Hmm. Did you mean that? Mean what? That if I tell anything to Kunal sir, you... What do you think? Uh, I think you're capable of anything. You seem like a strong personality to me. <laughs> I wish I could. But you know what? There are so many things that we say, but we are not really capable of doing that. True. I once used to brag that I'll do my own business failed every time. Then I realized I can't be good at everything I say. You know, when I had my first heartbreak, I was a sophomore. And I started doing researches on how to deal with difficult situations in life. And I was so dedicated back that time that I literally read several books and theses on human psychology. And what conclusion did you get finally? <laughs> Same. That we can't do everything in life and we have to go through every health situation. And we can't choose not to get hurt. We will get hurt anyway. Yeah. That's true, that's true. something to your research? Mm -hmm. Go on. There's a popular Australian psychologist, Blake Jefferson. I used to follow his podcast. Mm -hmm. Last week I read his recently launched book, Crack the Head. What? Cracking your head with rod or something? No, no, it's just a metaphor. The book is about understanding yourself and to figure out how actually a human mind reacts. Cool. It tells that if you can crack your mind, or I say if you can just figure out how your brain would react to a particular situation, you can prepare yourself to deal with any fucked up, I mean messed up situation in the future. Did you get this? Yeah. So I made a kind of to-do list for figuring out how would I react to some situations so that I could practice controlling my reactions. Wait a second. So what exactly you want to say that you deliberately create situations just to figure out your reactions so that... You got that, that right. Pagal pagal okay? This is insanity. I call this determination. Forcing yourself to be a better human. Sub karte apne level pe. This is my way. 
you are really a very interesting character but i think you should seriously consult a psychiatrist <laughs> said that we can't choose not to get hurt mhm mm and i added that if you can have control on your reactions you can control your suffering oh ho that means mujhe bhi ek to do list bana leni chahiye i didn't say that i know Sorry, I forgot. What's your name? Nishan. Kiska. I think you should put your sense of humor to your to-do list. <laughs> house Thanks <sighs> I'm not feeling well I think you should go and rest seems like you had a long day the interesting one thanks to you <laughs> okay then it was really nice meeting you likewise i'll think about what you said are you he controlling your reaction and all shit oh good are you free this week see you later ma'am
welcome to my show. I'll be your mirror. I'm your host, Blake Jefferson, and here we talk about the power of the human mind. But first, I want to thank all my listeners. This was such a great weekend. I was overjoyed to see such immense love and support you guys showed to my latest ebook. I read all your reviews. I felt so much love. Thank you. Thank you to all you lovely people. So someone pinged me why I titled my book this weird name that's actually weird. Cracks the head. Thank you.